Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This video I'm going to do a follow up to my first look at the Link 7 tablet, the £79 Windows 8.1 tablet that uh, you can now get in some places like eBay for £59 and the eBuyer are now doing them for £69 or £59 depending if you do a trading. So a very good value tablet and I've had a ton, a ton of questions about it. Some people didn't like the reflective uh, room that I was recorded in for, which reflected the screen so I thought what I'll do is I'll do a follow up video, show um, a few things actually running on here and give you my thoughts on having it for just over a month now. So first uh, thoughts on over the month, well uh, it's a great tablet, it's actually it's really good, well worth the £79. As I said in the review video, my only criticism of it is the battery life, you get around four or five hours battery life and it does, does tend to drain the battery uh, when you're not using it, so you may switch it, charge it up now, use it for a couple of hours now, come to it this time tomorrow and it could be flat. Uh, so uh, it does drain the battery like that so I found maybe t every two days you need to charge it if you're using it intermittently um, if you're using it consistently then you're gonna have to charge it four or five hours something like that um, to give you an idea I charged this uh, before preparing for this video and I've done a quick installation of Minecraft and uh, uh, a couple of other tests on it and it's down 94% so it's probably about half an hour usage, 20 minutes usage, something like that, but it does drain when you're not using it, which is a, a bit of a downside. So, some of the questions have been asked. Uh, first off, which, is the screen as reflective as it looked on the previous video? And I think the answer, if I twist it around to the light, you can see the reflection, but if I'm just using it normal like that, it's fine. So, no, I don't have any issues with it being reflective at all. It's perfectly fine. Uh, at performance, so we want to look at that first. Going to look at Minecraft shortly in the video, but uh, before that, we'll have a look at some Windows Store apps. So um, let's load up Netflix and let's see how long it actually takes to uh, fire this up. So I'm not going to edit anything out on this. There you go, pretty quick to load up. So let's load um, a video. I've got fairly decent broadband here, about 40, 50 meg, something like that, so broadband speed shouldn't be an issue. Uh, you can see some of the reflection there while this is sort of got on black screen, but it's not too bad. So I'm not going to edit any of the lag or the wait times out on this because people did complain about that. I've had a lot of complaints on the video as well, but you can't please everybody. Uh, right, while that's loading there, you can see it's starting to load now. So. Uh, Relative performance of the app seems fairly good, so I'll answer a few questions. Does it have Bluetooth? Yes, it does. Uh, did you install antivirus and is there like an AVG? No, I didn't. I'm using the built-in Windows Defender, which is working fine. Um, right, let me put some sound on here. Let's... Very cheesy, but there you go. So, um, speakers are fine, so if you're watching a video it's perfect, it's great for that. So that's oh, straight from Netflix, no problem at all. I can fire something up to stream from my lo local server. I've got uh, a Vidibox Live Now server here. Um, let me have a play with that. Yeah, I'm not going to edit anything on this. This is a Blu-ray that's been ripped and stored on my Vidibox server uh, which is running Plex Media Server and then I'm using the Windows 8.1 Plex client and uh, stream. this will be streaming over my network so there you go, that's a, a Blu-ray playing perfectly well streaming from my local server so again no problem with that media performance so for media playback it's great you've got um, iPlayer you could stream from and because it's running full Windows 8 you can run it really anything any website that does streaming YouTube or anything like that but you can also use the apps uh, so you've got VLC which I'll show you in a second you've got the built-in media player apps which will now play MKV, the, the new video app from Microsoft. You've got Plex, you've got Netflix, whatever. It's also got the option to, to use an SD card. 
So let me put an SD card in and we'll just have a quick look at that. So here's a movie that's um, playing back um, using the Xbox video app from the Windows Store, which is part of Windows 8.1. So again, you've got plenty of options. You've got local storage, streaming options. It's also got a micro USB port on there so you can plug in external drives. Now I have got a, a USB 3 hard drive but that this hasn't got enough power to that so you're going to have to plug it via a USB hub and also you're going to need an adapter like this one if you want to plug in a full size USB on there. Right, let's have a look at one of the questions was how quick does it to, to take to boot up? Well, I never really boot my machines up. I leave them running all the time. It only need to restart them when um, when you've got installed updates, something like that. So actually switch it on and off. It's just like a normal uh, Windows tablet, very quick. To actually start up is also really quick, but we can do a, a restart on here. Uh, so if I could show you how long that takes. And again, uh, I won't edit the video so you can see exactly how long. Next thing we'll show you is uh, using Minecraft. So there, that's just shut down. So now it's doing its startup. And I think it's pretty quick from this point, which you see the logo. That's the standard Windows startup logo. And. Uh, Windows is about to start. There we go. So as you can see, uh, very quick. Right, let's have a look at, as promised, Minecraft. I'll just log in. Now, with Minecraft, you need a keyboard uh, for it to work. Because it's not the pocket edition that you get on uh, Windows phone or um, on the iPad. This can be the full version of Minecraft. Now, it's very low processor compared to what the recommendations are. I'm not sure how good it is, so let's try it. I haven't really tried it yet. So Now to do this, I'm going to use a USB keyboard, uh, a wireless keyboard. So I'll attach that by the USB port. I don't know I mentioned on the previous video as well, we've also got a micro HDMI output. So I could connect this up to the TV if I wanted to, um, to play Minecraft. Let's have a look at it on here. So there, I've already installed it, the trial version, the demo version. Okay, so now it's launching. Again, I'm not going to edit this out for time, so you can actually see how long it takes to launch. So there we go, let's play the demo world. And there we go. So let me so I can full screen this. So here's Minecraft running on the Link 7. So I, I think you're going to struggle with resources if you're doing a lot of complex stuff on Minecraft. But for basic gameplay, it seems to seems to work okay. I'm not. I'm. Minecraft can be quite heavy on on the resources, but you know, this is working okay. Uh, so when you play the demo here, anyway, but you get the idea that it can run Minecraft, and maybe it will just uh, enough to keep you going on Minecraft for when uh, when you've got a few minutes with the tablet. So let's have a look at the other um, games to do. And I, I'm not a big Minecraft player, so maybe my kids would be better on this. Uh, and uh, But if you've got any questions about any specifics on Minecraft, feel free to send those in via our YouTube channel or I Dixon on Twitter. Well, let me let me close this and um, I'll show you some other stuff. This is the Windows Store FIFA game and uh, Ultimate Team. And 
actually this worked quite well as well and I've tried this on Surface and it, on other Windows devices let me just do a quick play on that to show you what the performance is like So there you go, so you can see the the graphics play quite well in there. Let's see if it slows down while we're playing. Now probably better with the touch screen for this. Bit of a slow down there, but it's not too bad. It's playable anyway. He shoots and he scores. So, the performance is not too bad on that. Um, it's a lot faster on more powerful Windows devices. But on this little £79 device, it's playable. Right, so I think that's about it for, for this video. I hope I've answered some of the questions that were asked on our uh, YouTube channel. And this one, hopefully, is not as reflective on the screen. Um, Let's a quick look at the final look at the battery while we've been doing that. So 81% now. We started the video at 96%, um, and I've done a couple of bits and pieces while I've been recording this video as well. So uh, that's probably a fair representation. So you, you can see the battery life does go down um, four or five hours, something like that. I still don't like the placement of the Windows key up here on the top. It's still really annoying. I'd rather it be down here at the bottom, but you do get used to that. Um, so like I said in the first video, £79 tablet, you've got micro USB, micro HDMI, SD card slot, it's full Windows 8.1 so you can put any Windows program on there that runs on Windows 8.1, so like I said Minecraft, uh, you could put iTunes on there, whatever you want, the performance isn't great on the Windows apps but as you can see with Minecraft it does work the Windows Store apps work great and that's one of the that's probably this what this is for it's got 32 gig storage so you're not got a huge amount of space but it's great for Twitter Facebook uh, email in the weather news streaming video services like Plex and Netflix um, it's a it's a, a really good device and if it wasn't for the battery life I'd say this would be my perfect Windows tablet. Battery life does let it down a bit, but if you keep it topped up, you've actually got a really nice device. For £79 or £59 in some places, you can't beat it. So any more questions please leave the comments and I can do a further video if you've got any more things you want me to look at. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you on the digitalized.com at Sticks and on Twitter or on our YouTube channel.